hi guys thank you so much for being here with me again and a huge welcome to those of you who are new so with today's videos we're going to finally understand how does your person feel about you so this is mainly a romantic reading and in order to make your choice we have here four piles pile number one has the rather white tarot deck with the celestite crystal on top and the ocean jasper at the bottom then pile number two has the crystal unicorn tarot with the amethyst and the fluorite at the bottom then we have pile number three with the spirit song tarot deck the appetite crystals and the new jade at the bottom and pile number four with the yellowing tarot the unknown stone and the pink tourmaline at the bottom okay so i would suggest to try and not take too much time to make your choice because otherwise your mind will start working rather than your intuition but of course you can pause the video here and take as much time as you like my suggestion would be to close your eyes and take a few deep breaths and picture the person you have in mind and then when you feel calm enough you can open your eyes and see whatever of these crystals or decks you intuitively feel more drawn to so whatever your eyes drops but if that doesn't work you can also try and flip the deck and see whichever of this deck feel easier to flip so that would be your choice or otherwise you can also try and imagine your picture the picture of yourself underneath the deck and see which of this deck has your picture underneath or uh, alternatively you can also have a look at the timestamps in the info box below um, and that's the technique that I usually prefer because I really I really um, I'm really attracted to certain numbers rather than others and so you might feel the same uh, but of course if you feel attracted for more than a pile that's absolutely okay too it just means that you have a mix of messages in both those piles of course I have to remind you that this is a general reading therefore it may or may not resonate with all of you or even just a portion of the video might resonate with you and not the rest which is why it's important that you always follow your intuition while listening to this video so take only what feels right and leave the rest and try not get too attached to the result of the reading if it hasn't resonated whatsoever you can come back here in the intro make your choice again and make sure you feel really calm by doing so uh, but if it has resonated a lot and you would love to receive even more details about your specific situation, then feel free to contact me for a private reading. There's all the infos and prices and instructions in the info box below. If you're interested to get any of these decks as well, you'll find the Amazon affiliate link in the info box below. And I feel that that is everything for now. So I'm going to see you at the beginning of your reading. Hi guys, if you chose pile number one with the rather weight tarot deck, the celestite and the ocean jasper, this is the reading for you. So finally I can use my right hand a little bit, it's still a bit weak, so I've drawn um, already the oracle cards before the recording, but we are going to shuffle the tarot deck together. This one is going to take the celestite away and you can keep this for your reference. So I also draw a hidden messages for your person from one of those handwritten letters so that's going to be exciting to find out. So let's have a look here first. We have it is safe for you to love, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So let me just check if you can see properly, that's better. So this person definitely feels safe to love you and heart to heart conversation honestly discuss your feelings with each other so it seems that this person is also very open to communicate with you and step out of your comfort zone north node so if you have the impression that this person is actually not being able to communicate very well with you about his or her feelings I feel that now this person is actually about to make the first move in order to have this deep conversation with you because he or her he or she want to actually come out of this comfort zone so um, I feel that there's gonna be a visible change in this person um, I'm just not sure if you guys can see everything it's a weird light today <clears throat> so let's have a look at your letter I'm very sorry for all the pain that I've caused you. I was an experienced and immature and at that time I didn't fully comprehend how lucky I was to have you in my life. Wish you can forgive me and give us another chance. This is so beautiful. I'm going to show it to you closer in, ca in case you want to read it by yourself. 
and you can pause the video here I know that my reading my writing might be a little difficult to understand so that that's what it, it, that's what the conversation heart to heart conversation is about this person is actually really regretting the way that they treated you in the past and the way that they didn't really appreciate the appreciate how beautiful how lucky they were to have you in their life so i feel that this person want to come over to you and apologize and actually talk about eventually another chance if you feel like but definitely they feel finally ready to love you to open up their heart to you uh, something that in the past they probably didn't feel as much as safe so it could be that in the past they actually had a um, block in their heart chakra and they weren't able to embrace this love whatsoever and they were just immature as they said and unexperienced so it could be that they were just simply very scared of love in general so that's really really beautiful let's have a look at the tarot cards i'm gonna just place these on the side we can have a look again later when we need so how does your person feel about you pile number one we just got a nice of ones there they wanted to pop up and then it didn't but the ace of wands definitely talk about feeling very very attractive from you as well and excited about a new beginning so how does your person feel about you these mini cards are so easy to shuffle i really love them because of that and they also come in a little tin so you you never have to worry about um, ruining them when you travel with them it's great okay let's go queen of wands i'm just gonna go closer so you can appreciate the cards a bit better then we have four of pentacles upright five of cups in reverse knight of pentacles in reverse queen of swords in reverse the emperor the six of swords upright the nine of swords the four of swords and the chariot oh my goodness look at the mess <laughs> i didn't even realize let me just fix it okay much better now so how do they feel about you we have a very important message here with the Queen of Wands and the Four of Pentacles at the beginning because it says that this person can't let go of you and that they do appreciate you so much. It could also be that they put you on a pedestal. They admire you incredibly for your strength, for your independence, for your creativity, for your... Mm, happiness for the joy a joyful attitude that you have towards life for how caring you are how mature you are how driven as well going after your passions for the way you're so close to nature as well and so they really really admire you and appreciate you and as we saw before they really um it could be that you guys have had something in the past uh because of this letter that we read here and that they didn't really appreciate you but now they finally do and then they realize how uh, silly it would be of them to let go of you so that's really great then we have this five of cups in reverse which is actually good because when he's upright it talks about focusing on what they have lost and not being able to have a positive attitude not being able to recognize the things that they have or the people that they have the relationship that they have or whatever blessing 
uh, that is currently in their present life uh, they wouldn't look at it but since it's in reverse it means that this person is finally coming out of this energy so instead of looking back at the things that he has lost I feel that now he's thinking about going back and get those things back again like feeling finally more proactive instead of feeling like a victim of uh, life's events so I feel that this person is actually thinking about coming with an offer although there is a little bit of resistance or this might come in a very uh it might take a very long time because the knight of pentacles in general they are very slow and so with the knight of pentacles in reverse it could even it could even be slowlier but we saw here that they believe that it's safe to love you and they would love to have this conversation and coming out of this comfort zone and we also saw from this letter that they wish uh, you could forgive them and give them another chance so it could also be that this resistance that they find from coming towards you um, is because they're not sure if you would give them another chance as well so it could be that they are a little um, feeling ashamed of how they treated you in the past or how they didn't appreciate you in the past so um, it requires a lot of bravery to come forward okay but I don't think this person is actually thinking I'm not doing it whatsoever I feel that uh, it's just slowly moving out of this energy where they were just focused on what they have lost with no hope to get it back from instead of thinking actually there could be something that I could do if I really want it back then we have this queen of swords in reverse and the emperor it can look like a couple because both of them like one is a court card and the other one is a major arcana so it could be two things as well it could be that this person is actually having a block from communicating or again just waiting before communicating waiting to gain more clarity or especially I'm hearing that this person want to keep everything under control with the Emperor I want to maintain a good opinion want to maintain your good opinion of them or other people's good opinion of them so it could be that this person is a little bit scared that once he will talk to you or she will talk to you this um admiration from people um putting him or her on a pedestal it will actually fall down um so it could also be that they want to appear as strong, independent, confident and um, not careless but detached and not so emotionally involved. And that could be what's blocking this person from coming forward straight away. Or it could be that they feel like talking to you but they still are wearing a mask on them and although with this queen of swords it could also be that this person is finally deciding to um talk more with their heart rather than their mind because we know that the queen of swords all the swords court card are very logical they uh their energy is a lot more concentrated in the brain rather than the heart so they take a cold hearted decision uh, which sometimes is needed they're a bit more strate strategical but I sense that it could be that this person is coming out of this energy of feeling uh, strategical and very cold heart and they I feel that this person is actually melting a bit there is a transformation or on his or her energy although at the same time <laughs> there is this desire to be seen as a respectful person so I feel that this person is actually trying to find a balance between opening up their heart and at the same time not looking ridiculous to your eyes. That could be why there is a little bit of resistance as well. Okay. 
then we have the six of swords and the nine of swords so again there is a bit of a conflict because they um it could be the part of them is thinking oh maybe this is all ridiculous and i should move on i should move away from the past uh, but the other side is making them feeling sleepless like having sleepless night and feeling really restless and having insomnia and worry so worry how to say yeah lots of worries and anxiety and could also be depression but i mostly a sense that this person is just having a night this awareness that probably moving away is not the best idea that is not the best thing to do that because as we saw here with the four pentacles they're really um realizing they will be too silly to let go of you they're really holding tight on you so I feel that they're just dwelling regarding how to present themselves. They're really working on um, the mask that they should wear, you know. But at the same time, they know that they should come with their open heart. And we still hear heart-to-heart -heart conversation here. So I feel like this person is really working on melting themselves a bit and not looking so stoic all the time. And detached and cold you know then we have four swords and the chariot this is a good sign because it means that this person is actually feeling like having a bit of contemplating rest before making their move so they are delaying their move here with the, the chariot they talk about progression making effort to uh, to go to the next stage so uh, there is definitely movement coming but is delayed so this person feel like before actually coming towards you and having this heart-to-heart -heart conversation and apologize about the past and possibly asking you about another chance actually this person want to feel 100% sure uh, of themselves confident with themselves feel that they are really working on their confidence here it could also be that they are having some troubles communicating in general that they are not as good as you are or could be that they judge themselves from their communicative ability because with this queen of swords that could also be representing yeah I like a difficulty expressing themselves and united with the this need of really maintaining a good impression from others so i feel that this person is really scared of coming out as goofy and embarrass himself or herself so there's definitely a bit of ego issues i feel here they want to come with their open heart but at the same time not wanting to look ridiculous for sure and they don't fully trust in their abilities to communicate i feel um so i sense that there's gonna be a delay but i sense that there's gonna be a possibility from this person to actually come forward uh because there's no intention to let go of you and they really really like you okay so that's it for part number one thank you so much for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe if you haven't done it yet and if you enjoy the content of this video and hit the notification bell down below if you want to be notified anytime that i post a new video i try to do like three videos per week and feel free to comment down below if the video has resonated with you i would love to hear from you and try to respond to each one of you and for the rest i really hope you guys to stay safe and healthy and take care of yourself i'll see you very soon bye bye guys hi guys if you chose pile number two with the unicorn crystal tarot deck the amethyst and the fluoride this is the reading for you so today i can finally start using my right hand a bit um although so we're gonna shuffle the cards together in camera but i draw the oracle cards for you although i haven't seen them already and there's also be there's also gonna be there it is um uh, a letter from your person is a handwritten message so we are gonna read first the roman engines and see we have religious factors your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path and then we have honeymoon enjoy the bliss of holiday time together 
and as monology card we have a personal issue rich solution with the full moon in cancer this is actually great it seems that the issues that uh, this uh, card is talking about has actually already found solution so if this person was looking at you with a bit of doubt in the past thinking or maybe we are two different maybe we come from two different different upbringing to different cultures to different languages or uh, there is like an age gap between us two and if they consider that as a problem or if they consider your spiritual interest as a problem in the past or like not as a problem but maybe it, it gave him or her some doubts i feel that this person is finally me finally feeling as none of that matters right now and all they want is to finally spend some time together with you again far away from the far away from the normal day-to-day -day life that you are living right now far away from family far away from friends from work from the busy city life whatever it is and they just want to withdraw from the world and go to some place along with you and enjoy enjoy life together for a few days so let me see the handwritten letter there's a part of me that would like to come forward apologize and start all over again but the other part of me is so scared to be rejected and badly kicked out of your life as i probably deserve so okay so it could be that in the past this person has actually might have ha actually rejected you because of these differences between you two guys and and right now they're actually realizing that none of that was actually a real problem because you means you mean a lot to them and they are really regretting now the way that they treated you in the past it's quite similar to part number one as well actually at the same time though they're scared to be rejected rejected okay so it seems that this honeymoon is like a dream that they have. They're daydreaming about being with you and not having any argument and you finally embracing uh, him or her into your life again, uh, forgetting entirely about the past, about whatever happened. So I feel that they're really daydreaming about the situation, finding a solution okay whatever happened in the past they wish they could patch it and and heal it and forget about it all and have another chance with you although at the same time they are scared that you might react badly to it so let's have a look at the tarot to go more in depth in this situation so pile number two have to go slowly with the shuffle because it's still a bit weak my wrist how does your person feel about you pile number two with the fluoride How does a person feel about you, call number two? Let's go. We have four cups in reverse and queen of swords upright. Better. So we have ten of cups in reverse. Hmm. With the Knight of Cups in reverse, Knight of Wands in reverse, Nine of Pentacles in reverse, the Strength, Six of Swords, the Hanged Unicorn in reverse, and Two of Pentacles upright. Sorry, the mess. Let, let me fix it. 
so there is great news I can see the whole picture here but let's go gradually much better now so uh, we have with the four of cups um, it's quite good because this person has been through a phase of feeling unworthy of you okay unworthy of your love unworthy of your attention unworthy of your uh, forgiveness as well and also fearing that you might have been very harsh in cutting him or her out of your life uh, but I feel that now with these four cups in reverse, this person is actually healing from that uh, bad perception of themselves, from these negative beliefs of themselves. And I feel that this person is actually starting to realize how much he's worthy of love instead, okay? So there's definitely recognition of themselves here. With this Queen of Swords, they're still, it's like they finally, um, I feel that they picked themselves up together. And it could be that in the past they might have been um, very emotional and like allowing their feelings to, how do you say? they were basically drowning in their feelings okay and they were like overly emotional and this uh with a negative attitude towards it and i feel that what helped them it was actually having a more logical attitude regarding all of this being more rational and actually with positive words towards themselves this person is actually being able to come out of this feeling unworthy okay so that's an interpretation of the card but i also feel that this could be how they see you and we saw it with the handwritten letter that they are scared that you're gonna kick them out of your life so i feel that they are definitely healing themselves from this negative attitude towards themselves but it's still not helping the fact that they are still scaring you still so fearing you kicking them out of your life because um the queen of swords doesn't think about it twice if she think that somebody's not worthy of their attention they're gonna kick them out cut them out of their life very easily um so i feel that they <laughs> they are a little bit intimidated by you okay um then we have this Ten of Cups in reverse and the Knight of Cups. It could be that they are so intimidated as well that they are actually, um, what's the word, sabotaging their opportunity to come forward and talk to you about their dreams of being together again or trying and work, trying to have another chance with you. They're basically resisting this chance. They are sabotaging themselves this chance by not coming forward and because of this fear because of feeling so intimidated there is again another block here with the knight of wands in reverse so they're really holding their feelings inside them holding their impulses their instinct inside them as well and this nine of pentacles in reverse it's like they are completely sabotage this to themselves because the nano pentacles if it was a pride it would talk about um, enjoying the luxuries of life indulging in pleasure and finally like feeling worthy of all that abundance feeling very lucky uh, but since it's in reverse i feel that this person is not allowing themselves to actually receive that abundance receive that happiness and indulge in that pleasure so i feel this person is really just yeah it's just it's not even facing a possible rejection the fear of a possible rejection is so strong they that they, they, they even sabotage this possibility of finally being happy together it's just stronger than them but then we have the strength card and the six of swords in reverse which talk about finally realizing that i mean finally feeling a lot braver 
and realizing that they can't move on from the past, that they can't let you go, I feel here. That they can't just turn the page and look at somebody else. And so when they finally realize this, that you are important, when they realize that no matter how agitated the waters were before, they don't want to go to, towards calmer waters without you. So I feel that they are realizing, well, if I'm... If it's true that I can't move on from the past, if it's true that she's or he is so important to me, then I better be brave, okay? And I better come out of this waiting because the hand the unicorn is there contemplating, thinking, meditating, and um, trying to find a solution to things. And we, as, and we saw here, um, finally reaching a solution. Um, which is all great, but at some point you have to realize that unless you act on things, act and, and run after your dreams, you can't really achieve them. So that's why the Two of Pentacles in reverse, because it's finally um, uh, coming out of their confusion, coming out of their indecision, instead of dwelling, should I do this or should I not, uh, this is actually deciding to be more straightforward, to finally pick one ch one solution, pick one choice and go for it and stop hanging there, um, just thinking to find a solution just with their thoughts, okay? So we see a transformation here. There is the problem, uh, I mean the cause of the problem, there is they're not dealing so well with that problem and finally there is a resolution so I feel that it makes so much sense having these religious factors which again talk a bit about the difficult the differences between you two which might have been an issue in the past then there is personal issue which is solution and then honeymoon which is actually what they dream uh, so I feel that they are actually gonna go towards making a decision finally coming out of this confusion and finally making this move towards you. It might take a while because it's a process, it's a transformation. This person needs to shift their energy and I feel that this person has already started because otherwise the four cups would be upright if this person would be still stuck in that. So definitely this person is starting to feel okay. I do deserve to be happy, but it it's still sinking in their subconscious here because they're still very scared of you there. And which I feel that they're gonna realize eventually that it would be too silly to lose this opportunity uh, just because of fear of rejection. So I feel that they are gonna come out of this silly confusion and dwelling <laughs> so that was the reading for you guys let me know if it has resonated i would love to hear from you and i will try and answer to each one of your comments and if you enjoy the content please uh, don't forget to like share and subscribe if you haven't done it yet and hit the notification bell down below if you want to be notified anytime that i publish a new video and i try to publish about three videos per week so that's the average and again, if you need um, this deck or the oracle cards, you can find the affiliate Amazon link in the info box below. If you need a private reading, there's all the instructions there as well. Um, that's it for now, guys. I really hope you to stay safe and healthy and to see you very soon. Okay, bye-bye now. Hi guys, if you're just found number three with the Spirit Stone Tarot deck, the Appetite and the New Day, this is the reading for you. Just gonna keep the big crystals away and this you can have it for your reference. So today I can finally use my right hand Hello, it's back. Uh, it's still a bit weak though, so I've been shuffling uh, the oracle cards outside of camera. And we're gonna slowly shuffle the tarot deck together, but ha let's have a look at the oracle cards before. You also have a surprise because there is a little handwritten message for you. So that's the first thing we're gonna read. We have, I really wish I could give you some certain answers, but too many things are unsettled in my life right now and I have to figure this out first. It'd be selfish to ask you to wait for me but I hope our paths will cross again. Okay. So this person 
uh, needs needs to fix certain things in their life before they're actually emotionally available to you although they hope they're not going to lose you and that you guys will have another chance in the future so it is not the best message to start reading with of course but let's go more in depth we have romantic feelings you see your feelings are real and worth exploring so at least we know that this person's feeling for you are actually real so this person is just having some external obstacles right now blocking them from actually coming towards you being with you spending more time with you love yourself first this is actually such a great mirror of what we've been seeing here this person has feelings for you but at the same time has has realized that they have to love themselves first and fix their life first in order to be able um, to be with somebody else in order to be ready for that beautiful love exchange and it's absolutely necessary so it's a good thing a time to give rather than take so it could be that this person is actually feeling like need to give to certain people around their life could be like their relatives or their friends that they need them right now because we don't know for sure what are those certain uh, things that they are unsettled in their life right now but he or she needs to figure those out first so it could be that this person is in a phase where um where yeah there's so many other relationship not romantic relationship around this person that need their attention and and i feel i feel this dichotomy dichotomy i don't know if you say that like this duality between them having real feelings for you but at the same time uh, needing to love themselves and their life and fix their life first so needing to put more attention into other aspects of their life first which is absolutely uh, important and something very clever to do although of course it hurts when you want things to develop straight away like now <laughs> But I feel that this person doesn't want to lose you and they are hoping to still cross their path with yours. Let's have more of an in-depth look with the tarot cards as well. How does your person feel about you, pile number three? As always, we have reversed cards with the tarot. How does your person feel about you, pile number three? have shaman in reverse just gonna check if you see them properly four of acorns are bright nine of shells in reverse eight of feathers are bright five of shells three of feathers king of acorns chariot in reverse Seven of crystals and nine of acorns. Okay. So we have here indeed with the shaman cards impossibility for long term commitment. This person is resisting a long term commitment right now because they need to create comfort in their own home they need to create a certain stability in their own home or they need to take care of their own community we have comfort and community here indeed written and so it could be that they live with somebody else with flatmates siblings or their own family doesn't have to be it could also just be that they still feel this uh sense of duty towards other people in their life that that, that are connected to them and we still hear time for a time to give rather than take so this person is unable right now to commit to you because 
uh, this person would be too busy taking care of those people. It could be that for some reason um, he feel or she feels responsible for them. Um, sometimes a sense of huge responsibility can also come out of a sense of guilt for certain things that they have done in the past, of neglecting them in the past, or simply it just comes from a big heart that seriously just... Um, and neglecting themselves or their own needs a little bit but I feel that they know that they need to love themselves first as well so there could also be a conflict going on right now between loving themselves thinking about their own romantic relationship and thinking about the duties and responsibilities that they have towards others so uh, there is a little sense here of unhappiness with the nine of shells or feeling they're not feeling emotionally fulfilled uh, could be like feeling a bit alone as well in in the in the middle of all this it could be that they are having a chaotic moment uh, in their life and that even if they are surrounded by people they still feel a bit alone we have this eight of feathers and they feel trapped okay it could be that these people that this person need to take care about, um, he feels like he has to do it, but at the same time, he or she knows that this is actually blocking them from reaching their dreams, at least for now. Uh, so that he's actually trapping them in a situation where they wish they weren't there. Although they know that they have to give to them. I know that they have to worry about that right now, but at the same time, it doesn't make them feel completely fulfilled, okay, and happy because they are sacrificing themselves, sacrificing their needs, and sacrificing this connection with you as well. And they have feelings for you, we saw with romantic feelings cards. Five of Shells, clearly here, they're focusing on the things that they have lost. Um, and there's a huge heartbreak here. So three of feathers and five of shells together, it's a massive pain that they have been going through. Uh, could be in the past, but it could also be uh, regarding the present moment, actually. And with the five of shells, they really just focus on uh, how much they have lost. So I feel that this person is aware that by following the responsibilities and duties, they're actually um, about to lose you or about to lose this chance with you. And it doesn't make them feel happy whatsoever because they are sacrificing a lot. King of Acorns, I feel that they're very drawn from you, very passionate about you, very attractive from you as well. And if they could, they would give you the world or they would go for so many adventures with you if they feel that they could enjoy life with you so much more than what they're doing right now. But unfortunately, they have to stop themselves with this charity in reverse from... Um, from actually achieving this dream with you right now um they even though they're very drawn from you they had to put a break okay and they is it too dark they have to put a break and not pursuing you at the moment okay seven of crystals and nine of acres in reverse i feel here that they're still though not giving up okay with these seven of crystals um, there is a sense of feeling when is this gonna end, when all, when am I gonna be free, uh, how long do I have to work because it really feels like a job, whatever it is that they're putting their focus on, um, but at the same time they are coming out of their defensiveness. I feel that this process, this journey of giving to others is actually making them a lot more humble and loving and caring and also understanding what is it that they're actually dreaming to do. What are their own needs? Because it's only when you're forced to neglect them then you finally realize 
what is it that you're really driven to do so i feel that they have this huge awareness about you um and the fact that now right now they're blocked because of these external obstacles uh it will make them feel a lot more how do you say open to it in the future okay because they're gonna drop their defenses here the nine of acorns is the wounded warrior and when is upright it talks about still feeling defensive and expecting the bad things that happened in the past and um, like covering their heart chakra um protecting themselves from getting hurt and still having those open wounds but since he's in reverse he's actually talking about healing these wounds and feeling um more open and uh, softer you know so i feel that this is all meant to be even though this person might feel like this is a huge obstacle to them and it doesn't make them feel very happy right now it has a bigger meaning and this person will be aware of it um soon enough uh, because they will experience a transformation within themselves okay so i'm sorry that is not super happy news for the time being um but i do i feel that there is hope for the future uh, at least because this person has feelings for you as we saw and these experiences are actually making them realize what are the important things in their life okay so that was the reading for you guys i really hope you enjoyed it and uh, if you did don't forget to like share and subscribe if you haven't done it yet and hit the notification bell down below if you want to be notified anytime that i publish a new video which is about three times per week feel free as well to comment and let me know if it has resonated and i will reply to each one of you as soon as i can feel free to participate with the polls as well to let me know what's your opinion regarding next video's topic and Feel free to contact me if you need a private reading and if you want to know where to get these decks with all the infos in the info box below with the Amazon affiliate link. So that's really it for now guys. I really hope you to stay safe and healthy and to see you very soon. Take care now guys. Bye bye. Hi guys, if you chose pile number 4 with the Yevelyn Tarot, the Unknown Stone and the Pink Tourmaline, this is the reading for you. So I'm gonna just keep the pink tourmaline for your reference. Today I can finally use my right hand, yay! I'm still a bit weak but we can shuffle finally in camera with you. The only thing that I shuffle outside of camera is the oracle deck. And just to not go too hard on my hands just yet. So we're gonna see first of all what are these messages for you. I haven't seen them yet and there's also hidden handwritten messages. So let's go ahead. We have Prosperity lies ahead with the new moon in Taurus. That's great. Flirt. Extend your light-hearted energy to others. Flirt and prosperity. Not bad. And let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others okay so it looks like this person is quite well intended to come forward to you and make you understand that they care about you that they're interested with you is still i feel that this is for um people that are still at the early stages because if it talks about flirt and let your friends help you it seems that you guys have never actually been together and that there was never a thing between you two but uh possibly you were friends or hanging around in the same pub or same places or same school whatever it is and i feel like this person is quite hopeful the things are going to develop in the future with this new moon in taurus and that they are gonna be quite stable as well i feel like this person is wishing to have something stable with you because taurus taurus is quite grounded sign okay so whenever they have a goal First of all, they're really stubborn and second of all, they're quite trustworthy as well. So you can trust them going towards the end 
um, of their past okay let friends help you so this person it could be I sense that this person could be a little young and like not sure if you're actually getting his or her hints when they flirt with you so it could be that they are gonna ask their friends to just have a party together as soon as you guys can um, as soon as you are allowed to have small groups getting together um, to just make it look like casual but in reality they want to flirt with you okay so what do we say here oh I didn't read it to you that's why I was like I completely forgot what I what it was written in the letters because I didn't read it um, anyway it says, I can safely say that no one before has ever made me feel so appreciated like you do. And for that, I'm so very grateful. You're allowing me to blossom into the best version of myself. Isn't that so cute? That's so lovely. So they really like you guys. 100%. Let me have a look at the tower deck and go more in depth. Okay. This message is so cute. No one before has ever made me feel so appreciated. Oh, so let's go more in depth. Pile number four. How does your person feel about you? We accept reverse card as usual. When I have a new microphone, so you can let me know if it's working, if it's better, if you perceive an improvement for the one before. So we have, I can never read this, it's so tiny, the chariot. Then we have the ace of swords, a pride, the high priestess, the queen of swords, the magician in reverse, the two of pentacles in reverse, justice in reverse, Page of Pentacles in reverse. So many reverse. Six of Wands and the Sun in reverse. Okay. Let me just adjust here because I'm a Virgo, you must know by now. So I really like things to be recognized and in order. <laughs> so is it better? Well, a little bit. So, we have here the Chariot and the Ace of Swords, which is actually the same feeling that I had from the Oracle cards, okay? Because there's a wish to make action, wish to make move, wish to make things work, asking uh, to their help to their friends, being really proactive, okay? And so, there is definitely... Uh, progress here, desire for progressing, desire for talking to you, desire for a new beginning, having a new idea which might help them to finally progress with you. So it could be that they said, oh my god, I could actually ask my friends to have uh, this little party or to go for this picnic together. Uh, sorry, the chair is very squeaky. And so it seems like they are very they've been very very optimistic and positive about this and how they feel about you we have the high priestess and the queen of swords so they have so much respect for you they really put you on a pedestal they're really liking you so much they admire they admire first of all your connection with nature your spirituality your the harmony and peace that you bring within yourself and that you you carry with you wherever you go. They like your spirituality and it could also be that you are reading tarots for other people or that you do some sort of um, energy healing to others like Reiki and either way they really really admire your strength, independence um, how much uh, clear you are, how much good you are communicating as well with this Queen of Swords. So, they admire the fact that you have strong boundaries as well. So, 
you are very strict regarding what people say in your life and what people has to go and so they definitely admire that a lot then we have magician in reverse and the two of pentacles so they're not fully realizing that they have all the tools in order to manifest you in their life. They're actually feeling like they need help. That's what we so ask help to your friends is because they feel that they're not mature enough or experienced enough to actually attract you in your own life. Uh, even though they have all the tools that they would need and you can probably confirm that to me very bright isn't it you can probably confirm that to me uh, since you're here reading listening to this video and liking this person a lot I get I presume um, but this person doesn't think so this person feel like uh, he or she needs some external help but I see though with these two pentacles this person is definitely coming out of their indecision like should I do this or should I do that Finally, thanks to their friend's help, they have a clear idea about where things has to go. Okay, what's the plan? They finally know. Thanks to their friends, I feel. Okay, so in a way or another, they finally managed to feel a bit more empowered and coming out of that confusion, that indecision. Then we have Justice in reverse and Page of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so here... Something is happening here. We also have the Six of Wands and the Sun in reverse. I sense that there's a huge resistance here regarding actually making an offer towards you, coming towards you with their friends, looking. Uh, there's no other people here in the Six of Wands, but in the traditional tarot there is. And so these Six of Wands usually talk about somebody that feels quite... Um, proud of themselves, quite co the cocky, they come with this cocky energy towards you and feeling like they're gonna make it, they're gonna be successful, uh, it's like a bit of an arrogant type of energy sometimes, but if it's in reverse it could be that on the last minute this person is actually feeling very shy and like if it's if there was people in, in the original tower, but in this one there is none, so it seems like finally, as soon as they have to do things on their own, without support of their friends, um, they finally uh, do get a bit sheepish, I don't know if you say that, like just a bit scared, okay? And suddenly they think that it's not right, the right move anymore. Um, but this is just fear. It's just fear to be at the center of your life, at the center of your attention, fear of not being good enough, fear of not having the right, of not being enough attractive as well, that's what I'm hearing, uh, fear of not being worthy of you, because as we saw here, they admire you so much and we saw it in the letter as well, you allow them to blossom into their best version of themselves, but um... I see that this is still a process for them, okay? I feel that the, the sun is the best version of themselves, but it's in reverse. So it could be that they are still a little bit embarrassed or ashamed of um, showing to you. It's like coming on, coming on to you and finally liking themselves, liking that version. It's like they're so used to being in the shadow that it's very hard for them to be in the light. Okay, so I sense that they they still feel quite dependent from their friends. So it could be that they like to spend time with you, but most of the time just if other people are there supporting him or her, like in a social um, event, you know? Um... And that they are contemplating the idea of coming towards you on their own, uh, like offering you a concrete offer, but at the same time, or oh, they're pushing away the thought like, yes, I will do it, but later on, because now is not the right time. That's what I'm sensing here with the justice in reverse. 
Okay, so it could be like a bit of an immature person or an experience, a bit younger than you. There is a page, so it could definitely be younger. And yeah, but I don't think that this per at least we know that this person is very interested in you, that is very proactive, that is like thinking about new ideas of how to spend more time with you. They love spending time with you, we saw from the letter. And what was the other card? Prosperity lies ahead. So they are very optimistic about your futures. Just that they, right now, because you're asking how do they feel about you right now, right now they wouldn't have the courage to come towards you on their own, okay? Without support of their friends. And to shine. They are not, they're, fear, they're scared to shine for some reason. Yes, it's like they are developing this best version of themselves, but at the same time, they're too shy to show their colors um, to everybody. They're too shy to show that confidence. So they're just still working on themselves, okay? And but I don't, I don't sense anything bad from this reading. Clearly, uh, it just needs some time. But I feel that things uh, will be able to develop because there's so much care, so much appreciating. So, um, and this person is so optimistic regarding the future uh, so I would be patient with them if you feel like of course it's completely up to you let me know guys if the reading has resonated I would love to hear from you so leave me a comment and I'll answer to each one of you as soon as I can and don't forget to like share and subscribe if you haven't done it yet and hit the notification bell down below if you want to be notified anytime that I publish a new video which is about three times per week also, I'm here for private reading if you need. There's all the infos, price and instructions in the info box below. Uh, if you want to know where I got these decks, you can find the affiliate Amazon link in the info box below. Um, I run a few polls here and there to ask you your opinion about next video's topic, so feel free to participate to those. And that's really it now, guys. I really wish you to stay safe and healthy, so take care of yourself, and I hope to see you guys really soon. Bye-bye now. Thank <laughs> you.